Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. It is a powder day across Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, and a big one at that. I'm going to start in Colorado. This is Crested Butte, 18 inches overnight. You can see the guy snow blowing down there in the lower part of the live cam. Uh, 30 in the last 24 hours at Crested Butte, and you've still got a little bit more to go. Let me take you into Loveland Ski Area right on top of the Continental Divide, about 11 inches of new snow in the last 24 hours. This is probably the biggest powder day Loveland's had of the entire year. Let me shift over to Aspen Snowmass. This is Aspen Mountain. Look at the camera, the amount of drifting that's happened up there. Anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of new snow reported up there. Aspen Snowmass, Highlands, and Buttermilk. Look at that giant drift behind the um, the snow stake sign as well up there all right let's go to Utah so this is uh, this is solitude um, another foot and a half overnight so we're, we're working on like two three feet in the last couple of days um, you can see everybody lined up ready to go and still snowing there at uh, solitude I want to take you to uh, Alta they picked up uh, almost 20 inches again overnight so that's three feet in two days and now we're looking at a storm total of 85 inches with this so far and you could still pick up another two or three inches of snow at Alta but of course the roads closed for now may open later today um, so you have to go to Big Cottonwood obviously or over to Park City in that area um, let me just show you what my um, latest bullet points and headlines are here so snow tapers off this afternoon in Colorado. Snow tapers off probably earlier than that in Utah um, as the storm system pulls away. And then we're in for a very cold night across Utah and Colorado. Many, many mountain places are going to be well below zero tonight into uh, Tuesday morning. Again, there's that 85-inch storm total. Um, we'll see what we end up with after the snow finally comes to an end, but that's where, where it is right now. Already looking at the next storm system, I like it. It's 117 to 118 and brings a west-northwest flow. So I think we're really going to squeeze out some pretty good orographic snow for the Tetons, Wasatch, Central and Northern Mountains of Colorado, Idaho, B.C., Montana. You get the picture. And then still looking at a Pacific pattern with warmer air across the west, 119 through 124. All right, let's go back. I want to show you the water vapor satellite imagery this morning. Um, so we got a lot going on. Let me mark the fronts. We had a reinforcing front that came in. And now we've got a big collision zone that's still setting right over the top of the Wasatch. And in Colorado, again, Arctic front plus the reinforcing front that came in overnight in this morning. And that's what's You've got the door wide open for all this cold air and snow production right along that frontal boundary. All right, so the next item of interest up is going to be, you see this energy up here coming up over the top. That's going to rotate down, and there's actually an area of low pressure within it as well. Um, that will become the 17-18 storm system, and that's going to run right down through the interior. Um, behind it, this big trough is going to sit out here for a while. That will not be an immediate player. It'll be part, this big trough will be part of the Pacific pattern when it eventually sets up across the West Coast, and it will send moisture in. But let me show you how this plays out. So this is the forecast radar and satellite by this afternoon. Still some leftover snow in Colorado, but coming to an end and swooping away with the cold front. Then we're dry, mainly on 116. But watch how fast this next storm system comes in on 117. So that's the morning, 117. Heavy snow, Idaho, B.C., northwest Montana, the Tetons, the Wasatch, and then eventually Colorado during the day, hitting the central and northern mountains pretty hard with that west-northwest flow into 118. Still there on 118 in the afternoon, and then it comes to an end. Then the pattern starts to shift after 119. You can see it happening. It's mainly just this open, um, strong subtropical jet blowing warm air into the west and escorting waves of moisture in. There is going to be snow in this period, but the snow levels are going to be much higher. For example, when it does hit the, uh, the Tahoe area in Shasta, uh, we're looking at probably 8,500 feet to 9,000 feet. Uh, when that uh, that precip finally arrives in the Sierra with that pattern change. So it's definitely going to be warmer. All right, let's talk a little bit about the jet. There's the setup for today. You can see the trough exiting Wyoming and Colorado, escorting that low and that Arctic front away. Let's go 117. Here's the storm system, west-northwest flow, and that will deliver some very nice totals. Wait till you see those coming up across the interior. And then 122, powerful Pacific jet coming off, just doors wide open for warmer air. Uh, you can see there are a couple of little ripples and a deeper trough there moving through the interior, so that'll help to produce some snow for the interior and, and, through, and through California as well. All right, new grand total map. Um, so this is going to run us the rest of today through uh, 124, anywhere from potentially 28 to 34 inches yet to go.
when you account for the one, what's left today, um, 117, 118, and then potentially 119 and beyond for most of the Wasatch. Little Cottonwood Canyon obviously gets the most with that 28 to 34 inches. Um, in Colorado, we've still got about another foot to go when you account for everything between now and 124. A couple of feet for the Tetons. I have no doubt if things hold together, you'll probably get a couple of feet. Uh, pretty good stuff up through Idaho, northwest Montana. A lot of snow in B.C., Washington, Oregon, and in California, you could get about a foot of snow with high snow levels. All right, uh, let's zoom in. Central to Northern Mountains of Colorado, I-70 corridor. Again, about another foot to go when you account for everything between one, the rest of today and 124. Um, potentially a bit more up there around Buffalo Pass. All right, let's go west into the West Elks. Similar situation here, about another foot to go. Um, these are grand totals between now and 124. Um, you can see that the pockets of purple, a little heavier there over Indy Pass and Crested Butte. Okay, let's go uh, by period here. This is the rest of today through 116. Maybe another two or three inches in the Wasatch, potentially another two to six through the central and northern mountains of Colorado, especially right up on top, the Continental Divide, and it's snowing all the way down here into Denver this morning. All right, and you can see a little bit of snow up in the Pacific Northwest as well. Let's go for period two. Storm system 117, 118 delivers a nice flow with uh, at least a foot over the Tetons, probably more, 10 to 15 through the Wasatch, and about 5 to 12 through the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Pretty big snow up through Washington, Oregon, and B.C., and about a foot up there through central to northern Idaho. Love that. One last stop, 120 through 124. Warmer pattern here, but still going to see some snow production uh, with these waves of moisture coming in uh, with a powerful subtropical jet. Could see a foot across the Wasatch. We'll see. That might be a little optimistic. Um, in Colorado, you can see the numbers mainly western and southwest Colorado. That's generally what happens when you see this type of uh, subtropical play. Um, that tends to favor west and southwest Colorado. And again, high snow levels through the Sierra. One last stop. I don't have much for the northeast. Some light snow today or on 116 and potentially light snow 119 and 120 um, but again that's probably going to do it you'll see some lake effect there through snow ridge um, but nothing big this two storm systems 116 119 120 both go just south of all the major ski areas in vermont new hampshire and maine so we're only left with light snow accumulation all right guys we'll end on the grand total map here as we usually do Again, the rest of today through 124 still looking good in a lot of places, especially that 117 and 118 storm. All right, enjoy that uh, new snow, that big powder day today, guys, and take care.